Hello and welcome to another video. I'm still on lockdown, uh, as everybody knows. Um, so, the working out from home, etc., continues. As you'd have seen from my previous video, um, I'm sort of on a cut at the moment. If you haven't seen it, then I suggest you go to my videos and watch it. Um, you'll see that I'm on a sort of slight cut at the moment um, and trying to introduce quite a bit more cardio at the moment. Uh, my, to be quite honest, my cardio level sucks. Um, I don't usually incorporate a great deal in my day-to-day -day training. Um, generally, unless I'm on a cut, that is, generally it would just be a, a sort of case of doing weight training. Um, but if you, some of you may have seen um, on the board behind me there, on my Instagram account, which you can follow me here um, on Instagram as well. Um, I've actually sort of got myself a whiteboard um, which I am currently logging sort of what I'm going to be doing day to day uh, so I don't really get confused with uh, what I'm going to be doing. I always tend to find that I work better if I've got a, a layout plan of what I'm actually going to be doing. Um, as you can see, I've got a sort of Monday to Sunday split for both uh, weights and for cardio. I'm trying to sort of mix it up a bit with the weight training wise. I've been doing a lot of push-pull legs even before the lockdown. Um, but uh, instead of repeating that twice a week, which I would generally do, I've sort of concentrated on the push-pull legs to start the week, followed by breaking it down um, into sort of an arms, chest, legs, shoulders, and obviously a rest on a, on a Sunday. Um, Cardio-wise, and mixing up between a run, which I'm actually going to be doing in a minute, um, and also some hit training as well, uh, along with um, along with some and with some sit-ups uh, and oh yeah thought of the day I try to add a thought of the day if I can but um, yeah I mean it's, it's a bit difficult at the moment I mean it's just a matter of staying positive really isn't it so but yeah so anyway I'm going to uh, start the morning um, with a run uh, I'm going to aim for five to six kilometers if I can um, I won't be running all of it because I haven't got the cardio level for that already hit um, put some BCAAs down I've had a bit of fruit um, and also some um, Thermopure um, capsules as well from my protein, which is like a fat burner, just to sort of get a bit of you know assistance in in getting getting the uh, weight down a little bit. Um, obviously, everybody knows it's mainly down to the diet, and I'm trying to do that as best as I can at the moment. So anyway, I'm going to go and um, head off now and do my run, and I shall catch you all soon. So about uh, two and a half kilometres in now. Um, actually quite surprised at my uh, level of uh, cardio. I actually managed to uh, run the jog, uh, the majority of it. Uh, when I've done it the other day, um, couldn't do it for shit really, but, um, but yeah, so, so far so good. So let's keep at it and I'll uh, update you all shortly. So coming up to four and a half K now, uh, I made a bit of a stupid mistake. Um, Got a bit excited, I think, with the start that I made. So I uh, thought, what the hell, let's, uh, let's go a bit of a longer distance. Uh, so I took a bit of a longer route than I would normally do. And yeah, four and a half K down nearly, and I've still got quite a way to go. Um, so um, starting to flag a bit now, I must admit. Uh, but I keep going. And uh, if I'm still alive when I get back, I'll uh, update you on what happened. That's that over with. Um, just got back uh, and I made the uh, silly mistake of um, not quite uh, realising that my watch was measuring my distance uh, in miles and not kilometres. Um, and just got back and it got to just over six and I thought, well, oh, that's good. I've uh, smashed, you know, managed to hit what I wanted to hit until it dawned on me and I noticed that it's actually recorded in miles um, instead of kilometers. Um, so converting that into kilometers and it ended up being nearly 11, which is pretty much double 
what I was actually aiming to do, which is good in a, in a way. Um, um, I suppose I uh, managed it in about hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, I think it was in the end. Boy, am I knackered. So I um, think that effort definitely deserves a like on this video and a subscribe. So I'm going to lay here for a little while, I think. Slight, um, slight change to my uh, distance from the uh, previous uh, previous bit. Um, it wasn't 11 kilometers, I was uh, getting far ahead of myself there. That's uh, brain was in another zone. Um, it's actually about 9.6 kilometers in the end and not 11, but still, I was only aiming for five to six and uh, um, hitting nine uh, was uh, much better than I thought and uh, I've already, uh, already changed my units on my app back to kilometers instead of miles, so I won't be doing that again on Friday when I go for my next run. Um, time to replenish a bit now with uh, my friend the banana and uh, some uh, monster energy. I feel I'm going to be needing a bit of it later on. Right, it's time for a bit of a uh, bit of lunch now. Um, I haven't really had much at all this morning because of the run, um, so I certainly need to replenish on uh, plenty of um, plenty of calories. I think for the rest of the day now. Um, so. Let's have a look what we're going to have today. We're going to have some, some rice, already pre-made some rice um, this morning, cooked a load of rice, so I'm going to have some of that. Uh, I will also have, um, I'll also have some, got half a avocado there as well, which I'm uh, going to have as well with that. Uh, and some chicken as well which I've pre-done um, and I've not really a lot there actually just got this and I just bulk that up with something else um, uh, I've got some turkey steaks as well which I've done um, pre-done there as well so I'll probably have a bit of one of them as well actually to bulk the protein uh, content up a bit um, so yeah generally as I say with my diet at the moment I'm cutting down some generally trying to cut carbs out well, not out, sorry, but um, reducing them a lot uh, compared to what I was doing before because um, I can't train to the level I was doing in intensity. So I'm going to get on and uh, prepare that now. Um, good thing with pre-cooked food like this is the fact that you can um, reheat it very quickly. Uh, the rice, the chicken can be uh, reheated. Obviously chicken, you know, as always, you have to make sure that it is heat, reheated properly. Um, so yeah, so I will. Uh, I shall have the rice, the chicken, so I'll do the turkey as well, some avocado, and I'll probably have a bit of um, some uh, Nando sauce on top of that as well. So right, so that's uh, lunch prepared. Um, if you'll see now, I've got my rice, chicken, turkey, um, avocado, and some lemon and herb uh, Nando sauce as well on that. As, you, as people will know that uh, have followed my videos so far, if you haven't, go and check them all out. Um, this sort of dinner, the rice, chicken, avocado is pretty staple in my diet, whether I'm bulking or cutting. Um, the only thing I'd change is the quantities, uh, mainly of carbs. But uh, there's about 180 grams of uh, rice there, which is a bit more than I would normally be having at the moment, but because of the run and the fact that I haven't had a lot this morning, um, I thought I would. Uh, Thought I'd have a bit, uh, bit more today, um, so uh, I'm going to uh, get on and dig into this because if I don't eat soon, I'm just going to pass out. It's just uh, dawned on me um, while I was uh, heading out, um, picking my little boy up from school, uh, that I have still yet to do my legs uh, session, um, which after this morning's uh, run. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go, to be quite honest at the moment. Um, my legs are feeling very, very tired at the moment. Um, so, but it's got to be done. Um, and I shall do my best to uh, get in um, a decent leg, sort of leg session. It might not be as heavy as I would usually do um, with the equipment that I've got uh, in my sort of 
little gym. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll give it my all. Um, so I'm just about to tuck into a high protein bar, for, uh, another from my protein, um, just as like a snack in between um, the lunch I had earlier, and also, um, with, well, if I have my leg session, it'll be a post workout shake meal, whatever I decide to do. Uh, but I'll have a protein bar now. Uh, these have got uh, 30, 30 grams of uh, protein, so very good protein wise. And about, what's the carbs like on these? Uh, 24 grams of carbs, so ideal ideal sort of level for a snack. Um, as I'm still in that sort of phase after the run, etc. Especially if I'm gonna do another workout, I need to get my carb levels up um, a little bit. Um, it's now time for the leg session. Um, give it a go, see what I can do. Um, and uh, got me, uh, Got my jug of water ready, definitely gonna need this. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get on and leg session, here we go. Well, so someone managed to scrape through that. Um, if my legs were knackered before, they certainly are now. Um, <clears throat> as you can see by the uh, the training footage that I recorded for you, it was pretty sort of lightweight. Um, with the fact of the sort of using a 12 kilo kettlebell for doing squats, basically the different squats, um, body weight lunges, and finished with. I suppose the the uh, calf raises were a bit heavier. Uh, did a couple of uh, two twenty kilo dumbbells for them, um, but as I said, it would have been more intense. It wasn't for the run this morning, but um, so yeah. Anyway, it's uh, post shake time now, uh, so I shall get myself some protein and some creatine as well. I should put in that now. Um, five grams a day as per, as per the normal. Um, I'm going to go for banoffee today, um, which is a wonderful taste. I must admit, I'm getting more used to it now. So I'm going to go for around 30 grams, 20. Thirty, thirty, what, 30 grams of protein in there. Um, also going to include five grams of creatine, as I said earlier. Okay, so apparently now that says thirty-five grams. Okay, I'm wrong. Thirty-five grams of whey protein now. Then, so I'll add another five grams to that. Another thing I'm actually going to use today, um, just to get my, because I'm very low on carbs at the moment um, for the day, um, is a multidextrin, um, which I'm going to add into this one, um, which is 20 gram serving of carbs via sort of one level scoop of 31. Um, so I'll add, also add a scoop of that in as well. There's a little bit of extra carb. And it gets into your bloodstream pretty quickly as well, the multidextrin. So, give 
give that a good, good mix. That's actually better with multi texture as well, actually. Um, so anyway, I'm going to drink this. Right, so uh, snack time. Uh, snack time, post-workout time, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've currently um, got some chicken. Um, on the I'm not actually going to be beating that now. Uh, just going to cook it for the rest of the week, um, which I'm going to add some southern fried chicken seasoning to, just to give it a bit of, uh, of flavour. So um, what I'm going to have now for my sort of post-workout meal after the shake is a ham and cheese omelette with a side of sort of whole wheat pasta with some um, uh, cheese, a bit greater than 30% reduced fat cheese and some light mayonnaise as well just on the side to get some carbs. Um, I'll only sort of I'll stick mainly with whole wheat, whether it's rice, um, pasta, bread. Um, I only tend to have the white side of things um, when straight after a sort of workout, uh, when it's when the quicker digesting carbs required. Um, so after that, I'll have a slow digesting like whole wheat. So um, I'll have some fry light um, olive oil spray, which I'm going to put. In the pan there, um, give the chicken a stir, get the pan on, and your egg yolk wise, um, depends really what sort of level of fats I require or what my diet's been like so far. Um, when I was bulking, I'd have about three, three to four whole eggs, uh, but as I'm sort of on a cut, I'll probably, and I've also got the cheese in the pasta. I should probably have, um, you probably have two um, yolks on this one. Um, so there'll be two, two whole eggs along with two, um, two egg whites as well. Um, get that cooking, and I'm just going to add some um, some crumb ham as well to it when it's cooking. So give it a bit of extra, uh, adds a bit of salt to it. Instead of adding salt, the ham gives it a bit of salt flavouring on the side. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd say is do not fear the yolks, um, fat whites. I know obviously they've got bad reputation. Um, you know, oh, Christ, you better avoid the yolks, just have egg whites. But they contain a lot of essential vitamins and minerals in the yolks. Um, so, you know, obviously if you're cutting them, then limit the amount of yolks you use. I generally say, which is why I only, only have one or two at the moment, but I generally have a lot more than that. And there you have it, there's the finished article. So you've got the, um, got the egg omelette there, um, just as I was going to say again, so you've got four egg whites, two egg yolks in there, um, you've got pasta with a little bit of light mayonnaise and some grated uh, low fat cheese as well. It seems to be quite you know, a fair bit of pasta there, but I'm lacking in carbs so far today and calories in general, so I've booted it up a bit for this meal um, as it's also sort of a post-workout post past the shake as well. Um, this will be my last main carb source, um, main sort of carb source now uh, for the rest of the day. Uh, my next meal or dinner will be a protein source along with some vegetable, mixed veg, um, which I'll do a little bit later on. So I'm just preparing um, my uh, evening meal now, um, which tonight is going to consist of some salmon. I am going to put salmon, and I tend to like on my salmon to add a few chives as well. Chives always seem to go really well with, um, with fish. Uh, particularly salmon I've found. Um, so uh, what I literally do is just sprinkle you can try and see, you can see just a few a few chives on there or something like that. Um, then basically what I what I will tend to do then is I will sort of wrap it up in like a parcel which tends to 
help the cooking I find and make it a bit more succulent. Not that salmon is anyway, but um, so I literally just wrap it up like that in a parcel, stick it in the oven, stick it in the oven for about I don't know, 15, 15 minutes or so, it'll be uh, it'll be nice and cooked. A load of mixed veg as well, frozen mixed veg. Um, so as I said earlier, after I had the last meal, um, I don't have any heavy carbs with this with this meal now. It starts to sort of peter out, um, so I just eat a whole whole container full of veg. Making sure I get a bit of everything in there. So one thing I just wanted to um, to sort of go through with you is my my personal experiences with cutting um, and fat loss because uh, there's a lot of lot of things on the internet, a lot of different ways of of doing it, um, and basically the way I did it, uh, particularly last year where I where I got in uh, probably the best condition I've ever been in before. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got any pictures uh, to show you at the moment. Um, don't know what happened to them all to be quite honest but um yeah um i spent literally around f uh, four to five months of on, on a cut um to get in the shape uh, and i literally dropped um if I remember rightly uh pound body pounds wise i dropped from i started on around 173 pound um beginning of feb last year and i ended up at one 55 I think it was um, and a body fat percentage wise I dropped from I think initially around 16 15 16 percent body fat and I dropped it down to around 10 um, in the end I think it ended up at um, it was a very slow process but personally it worked well for me um, you can't expect to lose body fat drastically overnight it just doesn't happen unless you go on some stupid fad diet and you don't eat um and you exercise for tw non-stop for hours on end um even then your body gets used to it used to the the way things are going and it adjusts itself but um i tend to find that um when i did it uh i just did it slowly um just started in a in a deficit um and then gradually, depending on results and how it was going, um, I would sort of drop it down slightly every every three or four weeks or so. If you hit a plateau, which will happen, because you know when you first start a diet, you will you will notice that it, you will lose some good weight in the first um, first three four weeks. I'd say if you're very if you're good for your your food and your your training. Um, it will come off relatively quickly to start with, but then your body will adapt, and that's when you sort of hit a hit a plateau. And then, the way I did it, I dropped my calories down a little bit further, um, just made small adjustments to the carbs, um, and that helped. It sort of gets your body into another getting used to, to even less calories, um, and that's basically the process you need to keep doing. You need to just weigh, keep weighing yourself. I weighed myself about every once a week, um, and just keep going from there. Really. Um, you know, there's a lot, a lot of people saying, "Oh, you can't eat this, you can't eat that" when you're on a diet. But I literally stuck. Um, I, I, I ate well ninety percent of the time. But weekends, I would have treats, I would have pizzas, I would have a bit of alcohol even. Um, but I found that it didn't really have much of an effect on me personally, um, with my fat loss because I was good the rest of the week and I did all my training, um, and. You know, so you can't. You, know, you have to treat yourself every now and again because if you don't do that, then you're just not going to stick to your diet. It needs to be maintainable. It needs to be doable for you. Um, so yeah, it's a diet and isn't a drastic thing. You're not going to expect a six pack overnight. Um, it's a slow, gradual thing of about a pound, two pound a week is a healthy way of doing it. Um, and if you keep at it, you will get the results that you that you need. It may take a while, but you've got to bear with it. Some weeks. You won't see much of a change and you'll feel like packing it in and stuff in your face but you can't do that you have to just stick with it if nothing's working for you make adjustments um yeah so anyway i just wanted to uh share my thoughts on that with you guys anyway yeah so as i said um salmon and vegetables basically um 
for dinner tonight. Um, Fat-wise, I won't need to add any additional fats because salmon has got a nice um, dose of omega-3 healthy fats, so I won't need to add anything additional at this point. Salmon, as you can see there, some mixed veg. Um, very little carb-wise in there, really. It's just just the proteins and the obviously veg boys you get a lot of vitamins as well. Um, one thing that I've got a craze at the moment on veg is having tomato sauce. Now it's probably going to seem really odd uh, to you, um, but I, I, I can eat veg plain, but I do prefer something on it. So uh, obviously this is the 50% less uh, sugar and salt version. So to sum up uh, today, um, tiring, uh, knackering, um, and I can't wait to get to bed. So before I go to bed, uh, sort of a pre-bed snack, such to say, um, is going to consist of some cottage cheese on a couple of rice cakes, which are very low in carbs, so ideal really for this, you know, for a, a nice snack. Um, half a tub of cottage cheese on the rice cakes, um, and to go along with that, I've also got some mixed nuts in there, which consists of sort of hazelnuts, uh, cashews. Um, almonds and walnuts as well, some walnuts in there as well. So, for the fats, uh, get a bit of fat in there as well to uh, help the slow digestion overnight. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there, guys, um, because as I said, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to go straight to bed. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, as always, please comment below on anything you'd like to see um, or just suggestions or, or comment on the uh, video itself please like and subscribe and i will catch you all very soon please stay safe and well and uh, keep training hard